Hello and welcome to a new Minute Squash. Today we are going to focus on the exploitation of issues reported from SquashTM. As a reminder, SquashTM interfaces via plugins with several bug trackers such as Jira, as you can see in the Minute Squash number 17, or GitLab, Mantis, Azure DevOps, Redmine, RTC and Tulip. We are in the campaign workspace here and we have selected a campaign in which issues have been detected. Non-issues section here gives you an indication of the number of anomalies reported in this campaign. Six here. By clicking this encore, you access a table with all the issues reported in this campaign, showing in real time the main information related to each of them. For your information, a non-issues section is also present in the test case and requirement workspaces. The content of this non-issues section is exportable by clicking this button. Another squash feature, only available in if you use Jira as a bug tracker, is to use the campaign wizard button here to create or update an execution plan according to the status of the issues. For example, to select only the test cases linked to issues resolved since the last execution. For this, I invite you to discover the advantages of this campaign wizard in the Minute Squash number 28. Now we go in the reporting workspace. And let's say we want to create a custom campaign export with the list of the issue keys linked to each execution of a campaign or of an iteration. So to do so, you have to click on the plus button and click add a custom export. I've already done the, main, the beginning of the, the work, so I selected a, a name for my report, select a perimeter, and select some attributes. But I just need to add the attributes of keys of the issues associated with the test step, and I will I click modify, and when I export this report, I obtain all the selected attributes in uh, in different columns, such as the IT label, the test case label, the execution step, the success or the failure of each execution step, and if there is an issue, the name of this linked issue. Let's say we want now to create charts giving, giving us indications on the issues reported. For example, here, we add the reporting workspace. I select Add a chart. I stay in my current parameter, selecting the type of chart histogram. And I want to measure the number of issues from my iteration. And it's sum. by iteration, so I select the reference of each iteration, and I obtain a chart. That means that in my first iteration, I have three issues, in my second iteration, none issues, and in my third iteration, three issues. Don't forget to, to name it. And you can add it to your library in the reporting workspace here. Finally, via the reporting workspace, you also have the possibility to add a report here and select, uh, for instance, campaign report, but it can be by iteration. So select campaign report, give the name campaign report with issue details. I select once more my perimeter. And here you have a box, include issue details. This option currently only works with Jira and Redmine and will also be available soon with GitLab starting with SquashTM version 5.0. So I select this box and click Add. My new report is added to my library and I can download it here. And in this report, 
you can find the issue report. The issue report gives you a summary of the criticity of each of your issue, if your team are currently working on it or if they are resolved. And uh, then you have a table uh, giving you all the details you need to know about each issue reported. Thank you for watching this mini squash and I hope to see you soon for a new one.